Okay, so I was moving my room around and I was thinking like, maybe I should make a cushion for my bay window because Bindi likes to lay here a lot. So instead of like putting her bed here and like her like half laying on it and like, I don't know, I'm just worried that she's gonna get like press her sores on her elbows and stuff. So I decided that I'm gonna make a seat. So Joann's had a sale today and I got foam 40% off and then I got um, some like outdoor fabric so it stands up to her little claws and stuff. I already drew it all out. I don't know where my paper went but I'll show you. We're going to basically, we're gonna measure and mark it and then I gotta figure out a way to cut it. This is, I drew it to scale so that each one of these little squares is two inches. So I measured it all out and basically I'm just gonna measure it and mark it on here with a Sharpie and then I'll figure out how to cut through this foam um, because apparently scissors won't do it. So yeah, enjoy the time lapse of me doing this. Google said to use a bread knife, so that's what I'm gonna do. She keeps trying to lick the Sharpie off of the foam, so that's how we're dealing right now. I'm gonna truce, let's see if it fits. And it does, look at that, perfect. So now, I just have to make the cover. So apparently we don't have enough fabric. Well, we, we make, you have to make it work. So what do you want me to do, put it on the seam? Don't put it on the seam, but I'm pull it over. Get off of her shoes. <laughs> Play with your hemorrhoid. Okay, so I'm gonna do it my way because I don't know what the crap my mom is doing because her way makes absolutely no sense. So I'm gonna do the logical thing and measure out where I need to cut and sew and all that. But obviously we didn't have enough fabric because, I don't know, because one yard is 36 inches. So if you multiply that by two, it should be like 72 inches. I should have two left over, but clearly I don't. So I'm gonna do it my way because I don't know what the heck she's doing. I sewed up the slanted sides. This is still wide open. I think I'm actually going to shove the piece of foam in here to see and make sure that it fits high. And mark where I want to put the Velcro for it. Because if I do that, then that works perfectly. I think since this edge is finished, I'm just gonna leave it. Sew one piece of elastic on the finished edge, fold this over to give it a nice edge, and then fold the other piece on it, and then it'll fold up nice. So, so far, everything fits. Now I just have to sew on the Velcro, and I want to put Velcro on this, and then glue Velcro on the actual seat itself. Um, just so like if she's like leaning against the window she can't push it off so but yeah that's what we're doing I'm gonna go ahead and sew okay I finished let's see how it looks there we go oh there's a moth Get out of here. You wanna try it? Come on. Come up here. Come and sit with me. This is comfy. Come on. I know. I'm sorry. I neglected you and I was sewing for an hour. You're okay. Here, you're right. Cool. Now you can lay here and I don't have to keep putting your bed in the window. You feel good? There you go. What do you think? 
You like it? Is it comfy? Yeah? It's really nice. I did a three inch thick piece of foam and I think that was a good choice. With her, she literally doesn't weigh it down at all. So as she grows and gets a little bit bigger and heavier, I don't think I'll have a problem with her going through because I don't think I even go through all the way. Um, but yeah, I didn't put the Velcro on the bottom because I'm like really tired right now. And it's like nine o'clock at night. So, but yeah, that's the finished product. I'll give you a close up of it. It has uh, fishies on it. You like it? Huh? So I put Velcro pieces on the back here to hold it together. And um, yeah. It doesn't match, and that drives me crazy. But hey, that's okay. What you think? You like it? I'm gonna use you as a thumbnail, I hope that's okay. Thank you guys for watching, give this video a big thumbs up. And uh, let me know what other sewing projects, maybe, you'd wanna see. I know that I'm gonna do like a romper in the future because I bought some stuff for that but she seems content you happy she seems happy <laughs> okay goodbye